Welcome guys to the Android tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna learn about Android activities. So now, what is an activity in Android? An activity is just like a single page or a single window which shows you a particular content. Like when you visit any website you will be served with pages and each page will contain a particular text, a particular images, buttons, etc. So similarly like that an Android activity is just like a page which will show you rather buttons, text views, etc. and all the other UI elements which are present in the Android SDK. So I hope you got my point. So let's begin by creating a project. So first of all click on file the new then Android project and name it as example activity okay so next the next then basically just if you want to do move that activity just name it as I won't be doing so much stuff over here so okay activity okay okay so we are you have created this activity don't worry about this code but not okay finally so this is gonna look okay so this will be your first page of your app or first activity of your app so now it is showing us by default one text view is being added which is hello world so don't worry about that okay so now what is our purpose in this tutorial we were going to create another activity means lots of activities and we will be joining them so that our app will contain multiple activities and we can you know jump from one activity to another activity to show different content so likewise it will be very helpful in further uh, application development process so let's begin by creating our own activity so this is by default activity now add some sorts of stuffs over here so I have added a button right click and you know just name it as okay or you know jump because this tutorial we are gonna jump or you know so okay so whenever your app will be get uh, compiled, uh, this activity will be forced to be get loaded. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna join this activity to the another activity so that whenever the user will click on this, will we get jump towards that. So how we can do that? So first we'll go click here, right click, then new, then a class. And once being there, you just need to type activity or anything that you wanted to because since our doing um, just or type it a next activity that will be nice okay so this is our new activity which has been created but right now it is just a class we have to make it as an activity activity so what we can do we have to just extend it with the activity so now what we have did here this be this is a child class which is extending all the features of the activity which is a base class so now all the methods all the functions or all the you know classes will be equivalent to this new activity so I made it the wrong um, you know utter of tongue so all those methods which are in this activity which is the base class are also being able to be called from this new activity class which we have created so right now it is an activity now what we're gonna do whenever this activity will be get loaded we have to show certain or some contents like views or you can say buttons etc so what we have to do we have to put on create method over here now what is an on create method on create tells this one on create method will be called and this activity will be launched so whatever the things we wanted to do whenever this activity activity will be get loaded should be put over here the code should be put it over here because 
whenever this activity will be get created this on create method will be called and all the stuff we wanted to perform during this activity will be uh, the code of that actions will be loaded here okay so we wanted to create something code so before that we wanted to set something set content of this activity because by that right now this is a blank activity so first of all what you need to do we need to create a layout for this and just create an Android XML and name it as example or you can say next activity layout and just select a linear layout because we don't want a mess up or you can s simply just do it okay so we can see our app contains two activities one is right now here and another is this so this was I was I was earlier talking about that is just like a page or you are visiting a web page from this page we can jump toward this page so that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial so now just put something that you want to show or like plain text or any random stuff you can type here the text that hey wait you don't need to type over here just delete this and just add a large text and type over here just change the text that hey we are in the second activity okay so this will be the layout will be get loaded when this activity will be launched but right now we have not did any significant stuff to show this layout inside this activity so what we have to do we have to set the content set content and view then we have to provide the resource ID since we are using a layout so we have to be in layout and then basically next activity layout so now whenever this activity will be created this content will be set and where this content is this content is this hey we are in the second activity fine okay so now the crucial step that when this activity will be created this content will be set it out and what we need to do we have to add we have already added a button so that whenever we will click on this button we will be jumping towards this activity so so we have to code for that button so first of all create the instance of that button so how we can do that just go over a button and type um, jump button is equal to button we are typecasting over here and then basically find view r dot id dot then then uh, button one so this will be the oops it's showing error why is showing an error set content view okay so there might be some problem okay we have to look about what is its id so we have to change save we haven't saved over here and you can see this will be eliminated good so okay everything is fine so we have created over here the instance of the button that button then jump button is the object and then basically we are you know joining it with this XML and we are identifying a particular element by the ID okay now we wanted to do whenever the user will click this button it should be get moved toward this next so how we can do that uh, we have to just edit the on click listener so whenever this jump button dot we have to s uh, set a listener so that whenever we will click a listener is available over there which is listening for or waiting for a particular click so whenever that click will be initialized it will do a particular action and that's what we are going to do so just type jump button dot set on click listener now basically here we are going to use our new view dot on click listener okay fine so we have created the on click listener and 
whenever this button will be created this entire function like on click will be get created and uh, um, this code will be get executed so now what we wanted to do we have to jump from one place to another so for that we have to use intent intent just act as pipelines so which will provide you a way that from where to where you wanted to jump over there so now intent i is a new intent so what is an intent intent is also a class uh, which is um, which act as a binder so we have created its object so now here intent receives some parameters like from where to where you wanted to go so uh, we wanted to go from this which is the context present context that where we are right now we are in this and now where we wanted to jump so we wanted to jump in the next actually the Java so just type the exact start class good okay the save it won't be allowing why because there is an error in the intent okay so start activity then we have to start finalizing okay okay so now we were having certain problems that from main activity we wanted to jump from this uh, from this uh, main activity to the next activity dot class and then finally we are starting an activity so this is fine so now one thing to remember that always whenever an activity new activity is being get created we have to register that into an android manifest file which holds entire collection entire record of any of the activity which are present in our application so right now you can see we have only one activity which is our main activity so we have created but we have created another activity which is this so we have to register this one into Android manifest file so that our system our Android app system will be able to identify that so just you don't need to do anything you just need to copy till this then paste over here and then basically just change the name what you change the name is next activity just type the correct because there will be some problem next activity okay they okay so many typos I have did over here sorry for that and now we have to close this syntax and this will be the last step that we have did oops okay so fine now we have registered our activity now here comes the time that we wanted to launch our app so let's test just first of all go to this run configuration just click on then basically example activity just apply just run and just wanted to save the changes okay it is asking which emulator to select just try to do that because this will select a particular emulator and it will run in this in its context only so waiting till that it is uploading our apk file after building and doing all such calculation and stuffs so pick up the lock and you can see we have successfully loaded our first main activity and we will hit the jump we'll find that yes we have successfully able to jump towards next activity so this was all guys there are still lots of things to complete but I don't want to make this video too long so there are different stuff like right now we have discussed the Android's um, activity on create method there are lots of an activity has its own life cycle so catch you guys in the next tutorial I will cover that topic too in detail so thank you for watching guys and hope you enjoyed the video thank you